guitars from Guitar Center for years and not one time have I ever had to deal with packing peanuts until today. But I will say, it's probably going to be worth it. Okay, so, got off the phone with Guitar Center and they're going to give me some money back. It's a win-win for me, I guess. I'm going to keep it, I'm going to try to do some stuff to it, but there's a lot more to it than just the shipping damage, which like I said, I have the piece here and another little piece that goes with it. So I'm gonna try to just glue that back on with some tight bond and uh, hope for the best. But let's talk about how uh, the condition of this guitar is the rest of the way. All right, so first off, the headstock's in pretty good shape. It's got a custom truss rod cover up there, kind of cool. The lock nuts were not locked at all. Um, I was able to untie them by hand, so it's not a good sign. If there wouldn't have been 50 wraps of bubble wrap in there, it probably would have been gone. Uh, the neck is not warped, but it's like this. It's not straight in the slightest. The action is about, I don't know, on cloud nine at this point. Um, the frets are looking like the Statue of Liberty. They are oxidized all kinds of ways. Uh, the body itself looks pretty good. Uh, it's got some scratches and stuff. It's obviously been played, but uh, it's got Seymour Duncan's in it. I don't really remember which ones were in it, but and then there's the Made in Japan sticker right there on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's pretty cool. It's got a scratch plate. I didn't know that. I couldn't really tell that from the pictures, but it's got a scratch plate. It's cool. I don't know what these knobs do. I don't even know if the electronics work. I haven't plugged it in. I'm kind of pissed. Uh, and then the uh, Floyd Rose here is like all but recessed into the body. I mean, it takes everything in me to get it level. Like that's that's me getting it level and I'm having to push down pretty hard on it. So <sighs> there's that. I got the back off here. Go down here, show you that. So I got the back off and I'm uh, gonna try to do some adjustments and some cleanup on it. So. Moral of the story, just please be careful when you're ordering online from Guitar Center or anywhere, really. I've, I don't know how many more of these videos I gotta make, but just please be careful ordering online. And uh, if you do have a problem like this, trust me, you're better off just calling Guitar Center and saying, hey, this is what happened. Because I try to call UPS and they're no help. And what's funny is I've never, I've never had a problem with UPS. I've never had anything damaged through UPS. At least not like this. Right. So there's that. I mean, just please be careful. I'm going to get this thing cleaned up, get it set up, see if it works. And uh, if I decide to hang on to it, I'll uh, make a full review and demo of it. But for now, this is my Jackson RR3 made in Japan. Broken. <laughs> Here's the piece of the wing. And uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, take care. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell notification to see if this video comes out. And uh, catch y'all later, hopefully under better terms.